Hello dear students, hope you are well. It's been long you are staying away from school. So I have come, come here to, with my online, uh, first online, on, online class. Our today's lesson is affix. You know, it's a uh, common grammatical item uh, to the students of class eight, nine and 10. So all the students of class eight, nine and 10 can avail this class. Uh, before going to, to the deep of the lesson, first of all, I should like to say that um, it's a important gram it's an important grammatical item that you have to learn. So I have come today I have come with the grammatical item of, of affix. Now I will show you on the board what is an affix. You know parts of speech are of out of uh, eight kinds, among them, four kinds of parts of speech are called root words, and the other four, four are subsidiary words. And the root words are noun, adjective, verb, and adverb. The root words can be changed into one form to another. But the subsidiary words cannot be changed. Our to today's uh, lesson is with the root words. That is, the roots, root words are also called derivatives. And derivatives al is also called affix. So, I will teach you about affix today. I can show you a word on the board that how can it be changed into, into one form into another. The root word is danger and, and the root word danger is a noun. If you add en with the root word, then the word becomes in danger and it is, it is verb. Again, if you add ous with the same word, then it becomes an adjective, dangerous. If you add ly with the adjective dangerous, then it becomes an adverb, which is dangerously. So students, you can see how a root word can be changed into another part of speech. And this process is called an affix. You know, Affix is the procedure of making some new words by adding some letters at the beginning or at the end of a root word. So uh, students, you can understand what an affix is. I should uh, uh, like to say it once again. An affix is a procedure of making a new word by adding some letters at the beginning or at the end of a uh, basic word, as you can see on the board. It is interesting to say that the words which are added before or after a new word, uh, root word, the words have no any specific meaning but it has a sound. For example, danger has a meaning but en, n, it has only a sound but it has no any specific meaning. Only it has an, it has a sound. But if you add with the, with the root word then it becomes in danger. Here this word may, becomes meaningful but and uh, it has a, it has a sound. So now uh, the students come, uh, let us come uh, to see uh, what are the words, what are the letters which are added before a 
uh, root word and after a root word and the uh, letters which are added before a uh, root word is called prefixes and the possible prefixes might be d i s u n i n i r i m b e m i s miss e m etc these are uh, these are uh, some kinds of common prefixes and you know the prefixes are the letters which are, which are added before a root word and the suffixes are possible suffixes are er or r s i o n t i o n e n l y i s e or i z e f y a b l e f u l y or e y m e n t a l i a l s h i p h o o d n e s s i t y t y d o m are some kinds of suffixes and the suffixes are used uh, uh, after a uh, basic word to make new word these are the common uh, suffixes and prefixes now let's see uh, how the suffixes and prefixes help us to make another word that is a new word uh, you can say it's it's also the process uh, process of making a uh, word uh, making a word uh, turning a word into another uh, parts of a speech here i will show you if you if you add uh, add a, add r er or or with a verb that is the if the basic word is a verb and if you add uh, r or er or or uh, after it then the word becomes a noun i will show you the example drive if you if you add r with this word the word becomes driver another word if you uh, add in uh, or with the word invent you know invent is a verb and if you are if you add a or with this word with this root word it becomes a noun inventor same is the case with this word hunt hunt is a verb and it is a root word, root word if you add er with this word then the word becomes hunter we go to another form uh, if the root word is noun or the basic word is noun and if you add f u l with this word then the word becomes adjective for example if you add f u l with the word color then the word becomes colorful also here if you add f u l with the word fear then the word becomes fearful we can go to another uh, form that the basic word should be clever and if you add with the ly with it then the word becomes adverb that is if you add ly with an adjective and the adjective is a root word and, and if you add ly with this root word then the word becomes adverb now can you can see clever clever is an adjective if you add ly with this word then the word becomes cleverly and cleverly is an adverb of course you know that clever is an adverb if you were uh, add ly with another word for, uh, which is called silent silent is also an adjective and it is a basic word and uh, the word becomes silently these are the process of making an adjective with ly um, uh, the word uh, turns into adverb in another example you can see the basic word is hail and clay both of these two words are now both of these two words are now can you see you can see here uh, health is a noun 
clay is a noun. If you add y with the word hell, then the word becomes an adjective, healthy. In another word, clay, and you, you are adding ey with it. Ey is, an, is a suffix. Y is also a suffix. As it has been added after a basic word, as you know, uh, before the uh, uh, our, in our before discussion, so why is added with health and the word has become healthy and it's an adjective. Uh, if you add ey with the word clay, the word becomes clay. Same is the case with prefixes. Prefixes, uh, prefixes are the letters prefixes are the letters uh, which which are added before a basic or root word uh, and makes another part of a speech you know friend friend is a noun it's a part of a speech and among four parts of a speech which are called root words uh, friend if you add prefix like be, then the word becomes befriend. Befriend is a verb. In Bangla, it is called bondhutto kora. If you were uh, add be also with the word full, then the word becomes be full. If the meaning of the full is boka, then be full means boka banano. That is, uh, it's a verb. In another example, you can see I have added en with with the root word. Uh, then the word becomes verb, and the root word is is an adjective. If I add en with the word with the basic word uh, which is an adjective, and then the word turns into a verb. You can see here rich and able. You know, this is, a, uh, is an adjective, and able is also an adjective, uh, as you know uh, from your grammar book. Then uh, you add en with rich, then the word becomes a verb, enrich. In another word, able, able is also, uh, also uh, an adjective, and if you add e en with this word, then the uh, word becomes in L. These are the process. Uh, there are also some other uh, process uh, which, which can be uh, used to make a, a sentence. Make a sentence uh, into another form of space. So, in this way you can change. In this way uh, you can uh, make uh, uh, a sentence, make a word into another forms of parts of speech, and it's a very interesting. It's a very interesting, uh, interesting uh, grammar. Uh, through this process, you can enrich your vocabulary, and you, you, you can uh, you can play it as a game, uh, word game at your home uh, with your brothers and sisters. Uh, so that you can enrich your um, vocabulary with them. Uh, so uh, your today's exercise is uh, is your from selected book. That is uh, the I, I should uh, give you your homework as the exercises. You do the exercises from your uh, from your selected book and. Thank you every day for, uh, thank you all for today. Stay alert, stay safe.